How? Uh, um, <clears throat> uh, oh, I'm recording. Uh, uh, um, I've been, for the past, mm, I guess total, it's about eight minutes about, I've been listening to this song. So total, I've been listening to the song about eight minutes uh, within a short amount of time. And uh, it's a good song. It's a, it's a really good song. I, I had it in the end slate of last video. Uh, I didn't really think to comment on it before the episode ended uh but it's a good song it, it just it uh i kind of got really into it and i maybe was a little bit hypnotized by it and i ended up humming and stuff happened man uh i i ended up being like how you heard me in a second ago so <clears throat> um yeah it's a it's a good song very good song and uh rao you have a good theme song. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> besides that, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Uh, last episode, we met Rao, and we uh, explored Seon City, and we showed Rao our mystical powers of being able to wiggle two lamps. I, I meant to do that a little bit more epically. Many lamps. We can wiggle many lamps, and we are powerful. Uh, but even more so, we have the power to actually burn a matara uh, no, sorry, not a matarasu, but we can burn Rao alive and fry her into, um, uh, like, chicken wings or something. Like, chicken. And then, I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, so we can show her our awesome powers. However, she says she has many favors to ask of us. However, she needs her prayer slips before she can actually have us help with some of the things that she needs to get done. So we're going to be exploring the aristocratic quarter today and keeping an eye out for the prayer slips. I can't really suggest anything, be any course of action better than that because this is a gigantic city and looking everywhere for her prayer slips might prove difficulty. Um, minus the Y. Uh, let's go! Okay, uh... Last episode, we did get this far. We talked to Kamuso and ended up ended it off around here, near this like Zen gardeny type. Actually, this is straight up a Zen garden. It's cool. Zen gardens, I always thought were a little bit cool, even though they're really kind of strange and they like symbolize things that I'm not for. But at least I, anyway, <laughs> they look cool. I don't know where on earth I was going with that at all, and I know like nothing of Zen gardens. So, uh, pardon my very uh, 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 ignorance talk about that. Actually, I'm not, I know a lot about them, so I don't know why. I discounted myself, and I'm just really flustered by that whole row thing, uh, that you guys caught me <laughs> humming that song. I used to hate that song. I used to hate that song with a burning passion, and Nova loves that song, and then I was trying to view it through her eyes, and I think I did, because for a brief moment there, I had it sounds really weird, but I I sounded a lot like a girl, or at least the girl in that song, which is a bad thing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we have a treasure chest down there, which I'll go ahead and grab. But we also, after I collect this, we have a stray bead to the right of the bridge. It is in these bushes, which is a very, very obvious place to hide a collectible. Uh, especially a stray bead. I mean, if it were, like, a crystal like we just got, I'd understand, but a stray bead, really? It's so obvious. They usually do such a much... They just do a better job all around of of hiding these. I just... Game disappointed me with that stray bead. Maybe it's because most of the stray beads in Seon City, both the commoner's quarters and the aristocratic quarters, are not available to us, so they're like, let's give them one that they can so they can feel like they actually searched for something? I don't know. But if they had, I would have said, hide it right here, because I wouldn't have thought to look around this alcove for a vengeance slip. I also would not have thought to look back here for another treasure chest, 
Actually, I would have thought to look back there because I know it was there. I knew it was there, rather. And also that treasure chest invincibility to get a pearl. And then we can go inside this house, which apparently is like where the aristocratic, bureaucratic politicians live. No, actually, no, I don't think aristocrat means politician. I mean, I think it means basically upper class. So upper crust people. But still, this is a very small house, and the uh, the carpenter's place was bigger than this. But regardless, let's go and go inside. And this place is actually the TARDIS. You know why? Because it's bigger on the inside. Although I've heard a lot of a lot of times in video games, like buildings are actually like sort of sim. Not sim I'm not going to say symbolic because it's like they have they have a uh, mythological meaning or myth mythological. I don't know. Uh, but they're kind of symbolic or not they're representatory I guess because on on the main area the houses are smaller than they actually are but that's not the actual size of the house it's kinda weird but like in Pokemon the houses are tiny but it's actually just a representation of the house rather than a full-scale house if that makes sense so it's basically for the purposes of story they're condensing the entire city uh, because really honestly this is ti the city is tiny compared to like I don't know, uh, uh, Boston, but it's actually shrunk down so that you can, uh, so that you can traverse it by the game designer, so you can picture it actually much bigger than it actually is, if that makes any sense at all. So anyway, uh, besides my very strange explanations, let's talk to this girl, Okuni. Uh, in the ocean swims a mighty beast. Uh, wait, I have to wait for her to stop, stop singing. In the ocean swims a mighty beast. Tis he who keeps the sea at peace. Oh, he, oh, what magnificence we behold in this water dragon oh so bold. Which was a very strange tune, but I made it up, so it's fine. <laughs> it's a song my grandma taught me. Apparently, the water dragon that's causing havoc in the sea is actually a god from the dragon palace at the bottom of the sea. Did you know that, doggy? No, I did not. Thank you for telling me. Also, you can bloom these trees, but it's still technically curse zone, even though outside looks perfectly normal, like it's daytime, and it's and there's no curse zone outside, and also apparently there's like rocks nearby and a beach, even though there aren't. Uh, this is actually further proof that this, the outside of the building is actually just representing a bigger structure, because you see an umbrella out there and like a, a porch type thing, and rocks and shrubbery and a tree, and I already mentioned the umbrella, uh, and there is no such thing outside, so it's more rep... It's, it represents a bigger structure. So anyway, let's go and talk to these people up here, because as much as this look like, looks like a wall because of this game's interesting art design, uh, it's actually like a stairwell thing. Well, well, it's not every day I have a dog visiting my mansion. What is it, little one? Are you hungry? Or have you fled here from that chaos over at the Ryoshima coast? I don't have time. I don't have anything for you, but you can stay as long as you like. Why, thank you, sir. You are a good sir. I already took your holy bonus. Urgh, a dirty dog in my lovely mansion. Get away from me, you flea-bitten hound. This is no place for the likes of you. You've gotten some nerve, you mangy mutt. How dare you come into our house like this? Get away from me, you flea-bitten hound. Okay, I will, because you are a mean woman. Are you finding my mansion nice and comfortable, dog? I don't have anything for you. He says the same thing. Okay. Sometimes people say multiple things, uh, even though they don't actually have the arrow. And she just does her song again. Okay, goodbye. Uh, see you later. Yes, I knew that, because you just told me. Okay, let's leave, now that I've talked to these people and gotten a holy bone ass. Okay, next place to go is uh, running into something invisible. No, it is over here. You see that tower over there? That is one of the last areas not in a curse zone. So we can go over to it. However... We're not able to go inside it, because if we walk around this, it's very strange, and this is one of my more- Whoa! Not even on the other side of the fence. Stop freaking out, game. Sheesh, chill. Uh, but we cannot go in here, because there are no doors. But what we can do is dig this treasure chest up, and this treasure chest contains not a stray bead, but an exorcism spell, which I'll gladly take. And there's a cat statue, which we've seen before. Many times we've seen it, seen them in Shinshu Field, uh, Agata Forest, T 
Taka Pass, and, uh, here? <laughs> Can't think of anywhere else that we've seen them, but I'm definitely keeping a mental list so that when we can do whatever we can do with them, we'll be able to do whatever we can do with them once we have the thing that enables to do the thing that they need done. Also, that stair is uneven, but that's fine. It's actually cool that they didn't make it cookie cutter even. We're Queen Himiko's bodyguards. She's in her palace at the moment, praying for the city. I'm under orders not to let anyone disturb her. And I take orders seriously, so that means you too, mutt. Okay. Can I just, uh, jump past you? You can see the curse zone stretching out before you. The whole city is engulfed in a sinister air. But we won't let it lay a finger on Queen Himiko. No, we guards won't let any evil get the better of us. Bah, Queen Himiko's guards all sound like a bunch of parrots. But you can't you can't just attack anyone. You're god after all. Let's just leave him alone. <sighs> can I you know what guys? Ooh, ooh. Uh can I splot multiple people? Can I splot multiple people? Yes! You couldn't even uh, they were looking in, that was the problem. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's try this again, except I have a much better idea. Uh you guys are guards? Well let's give you Let's go over here, so they can't actually identify us as being the culprit of this. And let's use our brush. And, uh, send them a little bomb threat. Boom. Bye, guys! Oh, there- wait, we have to try that again. Sorry, my bad. Okay, let's do it a little bit more out in the open. I'm just a dog. I'm a dog. Walking around and I can't blow uh, you up. Because I'm a dog, and you are dead. Bye! Ah, uh, you, you were totally incapacitated. Uh, they couldn't do a thing, and yet, they're like magic, and the inst- uh, Fine, game. Fine. I'll go where you want me to go, and that's- where is it? Where on earth is it? It's across this bridge. I'll go there, because obviously you don't want me to explore stupid game. Let's go, go in here. Treasure chest? No, of course not. But there's treasure chest here. And that's fine, I'll take it, but I could have totally gone in there. I just blew them up, and they they couldn't have done a thing about it. Like, they, they couldn't hit me with their arrows. I could just power slash the arrows out of the air, and there's a treasure chest here. Uh, I could to totally just power slash them out of the air, and been all like, Yo, bro, dog, I'm a dog, and you're not, so see ya. Uh, forget this. Okay, let's, let's just go in here before I riff on those dumb guards anymore. A cookie cutter area, both of the Saitomi house and the other area that we were just in. Uh, except there's no girl in here; they're just clones of her parents. And see, still soul sake and trees. Let's go and talk to him. I wonder what's going on with the emperor. His illness must be the cause of his strange behavior. Okay. Oh, what a sweet little doggy. Oh, you're a good contrast to that other woman. You're not a clone. You love dogs and beautiful ones at that, like Amaterasu, a.k.a. me. Maybe you can lend an ear to that poor husband of mine. He's been so troubled lately. He talked to anyone. Can I talk to you again? I've not been feeling well myself lately. That mist enveloping the city is just so incredibly thick. It really starts to get you down after a while. I don't suppose you've got time to hear my woes, have you, Pooch? I've served under the former Emperor of Seon City, and been at his side for more years than I care to remember. But then, he suddenly took to his bed with a terrible illness. He's been like a completely different person ever since. He's always been such a modest and benevolent ruler in the past, but now he surrounds himself with guards and turns the needy away. There's even a rumor that he imprisoned a girl for no reason. It's the illness that's doing this, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Okay. So, we heard about Queen Himiko, but apparently there's an Emperor as well. I wonder who's above the other. Is Queen above Emperor, or Emperor above Queen? Obviously, Queen Himiko's in charge right now because she is, uh, she's not sick, and he is, but I wonder if everything, when everything's well, who is above who? I wonder. Okay, now that that's, o now that that's out of the way, we can indeed head through there. Uh, first, I'd like to check by changing it night to see if night, 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 night. There we go. Nighttime. 
Night time. There we go. Worked perfectly. First try. <laughs> okay, I want to check to see if there are any buried chests around here. This is the easiest way to do so, using the power of Crescent. And there are none, so let's go ahead and go through here. Towards the, further towards the source of the mist. Wow. This is... The mist is strong, stronger here than it ever has been. Psst. Psst. Can you hear me? What? We're not... We're supposed to be on duty. Well, it's just... I wanted to ask you something. Um, what's your opinion of His Highness? What do you mean? Surely you're not doubting the worth of our honorable emperor. True, he's had to take to his bed because of his strange illness, but I'm full of hope that he'll soon make a speedy recovery. And I am too, of course. But there's something about his strange illness that bothers me. That swirling mist is a little out of the ordinary, don't you think? The moment the emperor took ill, it started to come out of his room. And then, before we knew it, it had taken over the whole city. People are really starting to suffer from it, too. Well, don't you think it's all a bit of a coincidence? It's definitely odd, I'll grant you that. But it's no use trying to ask His Highness how he feels. He just sends everyone away, and he won't even see a doctor. So I don't think that there's anything we can do about it. But what about that girl locked up in the cell all alone? She, should, she shouldn't be locked up like that. She's done nothing wrong. You mean that girl called Kaguya? Hmm. Orders are orders, but, so we had no choice but to lock her up. But I can't quite see why His Highness wanted us to do it. The city's in a real mess ever since he took ill like this. I wonder what's going on inside the palace. I wonder indeed, but we can't get through here because they don't even care. Like, they, they just see us as a dog, but this is locked, so we can't do anything about it. Can we just talk to you? Hello, Wolf. I wouldn't come any closer if I were you. We're under orders to defend the Emperor with our lives. You'll leave now if you know it's good for you. Well, you're nice about it. No, I'm not being sarcastic. He is nice about it. He he says, you know, we, you know what? I like you, but I have my duty to fulfill, and I'm sorry if it gets you hurt. That's that's really kind of him. Hmm? What is it now? Is it the swirling mist inside the palace that's bothering you? Yes, it is. Er, it's nothing, really. That's what the Emperor told us to say, anyway. It's nothing. You'll leave us. You'll leave us now if you know it's good for you. Okay. What about you? Yeah. Huh? A white wolf? How unusual! What are you doing here at the emperor's palace? Come to steal treasure from under his nose while he's ill? I'm a wolf. You no good hound. Get out of here right now. If I catch sight of you again, I'll have you for my dinner. Actually, I don't think I'd want to eat such a eat such a dirty looking beast. But get out of here anyway. Oh, so there are perks to not taking baths. Aha. Uh, see, Mr. Uh, Bamboo, there are a lot of perks to not having a bath. Mainly, no, you don't have any friends. Although, Amaterasu does very well at making friends, so I guess I shouldn't say that. You pesky mongrel. It's the Emperor's orders that no one's allowed through. And that includes wolves as well as people. Even a mosquito couldn't get past our super tight security. Am I getting through to you? Then get out of here. Such tight security can only mean one thing. Whatever's causing that swirling mist must be in this palace. Wonder what kind of person the Emperor is. Probably like a, a fat, jolly dude, and well, normally jolly, now he's sick, but he's probably a fat, jolly dude, and he likes politics, but only for the fact that it makes him friends, and he's he loves doing it, and he's a people person, but that's just how I want every single pol politician to be. Fat, jolly, and very friendly. Hmm? Check out these slips of paper. Looks like each one has a spell or something on it. But I have no idea how to use them. Don't think they do us much uh, <laughs> Don't think they do us much good. Uh, but we can take them. Uh, what about this? Hey, look at that army. There's mist pouring out of that little hole. Too bad you're so big. Otherwise, we could have checked, uh, checked out this hole. I don't like this palace. Something smells fishy here. Hopefully it's not the mist, because... Can you picture, like, a mist, uh, fish smell throughout a city? Ugh. Gross. I love eating fish, but I definitely don't like smelling just raw fish. That's nasty. Okay. With our new thing, whatever this is, someone's scratch pad and toe, uh, we can go to the only place that I would think to go with a piece of paper, and that is Rao. 
because Raud mentioned that she lost her purse slips, and if these are any, any indication of them, there being a spell on each piece of paper, these could be her prayer slips, maybe? Here they are, and here she is. What have you... My prayer slips! You found them! In this huge city? Thank you. They're indispensable in my fight against the evil beings. I was sure one of them had stolen them from me. Thank goodness. Yes, your ability to sniff things out really is a divine power. Your name is Amaterasu, correct, Wolf? Well, Amaterasu, would you put your powers to use for us? Us. Huh? You saying we're the answer to your prayers? I'm saying you are our only hope. As you have seen, Ryushima Coast is in turmoil. All because of the evil rising from the darkness. Because of the forces of darkness. Forces of darkness? Yes, next to them, the monsters out there in the wild are nothing. They're starting to spread over Ryushima Coast. And with Queen Himiko confined to her palace, it all falls to me. Normally, I'd use my holy powers to dispel any threat to the city. But this foe is too strong even for me. So I have no choice but to ask that you this favor. Lend me your powers. So that means we'd end up helping Kimiko after all? I don't know. It sounds kind of fishy to me. There are some who think the queen is a coward to shut herself away. But she cares for her subjects. She's praying for our protection. But even she can't calm the water dragon and exercise the city. Not without this, that sacred treasure to enhance her holy powers. That's what I want you to help me find. Hmm. Uh, sure, Rao. I'll bite. Elaborate on that. Please, Amaterasu, let me ask you once again. Will you listen to what I have to ask? Listen to what she has to say. Sure, I, I did say I'll bite. Uh, I won't go back on that. Uh, why not? Let's hear what this stacked babe has to say. Stacked? And any anyway. When did you, when you came here to the city? Did you see it? Right off the coast near the Ryoshima border, there lies a sunken treasure ship, a victim of the Water Dragon's rampage. Yes, we went inside actually. That ship is, was a trading vessel, working between here and abroad. It was transporting a great treasure, ordered by Queen Himiko. But the Water Dragon attacked every ship in the water. It sunk the ship and its precious cargo right in front of the port. The fox rod that the fox rods that the queen had finally managed to locate, a matchless treasure with the power to defeat any foe, would have been Seon City's, no, Nippon's, greatest asset. If we had the fox rods now, we could drive out the evil beings. Amaterasu, will you come to the treasure ship with me? And help me search its cargo for the fox rods? You want us to do what? I keep pressing A to advance text, and that has continually occurred to me that I should just press Z, because when I press A, whenever something finishes, I jump, and I could just press C and just continue talking to them. I need to start... I need to make that a muscle memory. You want us to search for treasure on a sunken treasure ship? Well, I'd do anything for a cute babe. Yes, Isun, we know. If my boss here says no, there ain't much I can do. Well, boss, we gonna help this busty babe or what? Oh my word, Isun. <sighs> uh, sure. I said it before I saw it, which is bad. So I won't, like, blank it out. But you, you heard it. <laughs> Bummer. Well, the boss has spoken. Huh? What was that, Ami? Thank you, Matarasu. You're a true savior. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Let's go to the treasure ship right away, then. Although, we must wait a while bef until the n new moon rises in the night sky. In the shadows where the ship ran aground, called the Lunar Lagoon, the tide only recedes when a new moon is seen from the moon turret. When the tide's out, it's easy to get into the treasure ship. We'll meet at the ship on the night of the next full moon. Okay. Which, we've done it before prematurely. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Uh, so, yeah. And... <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and yeah. How many times will I say, and yeah? Uh, because this episode's not quite over, uh, it's sort of over, but I'd like to actually go do something, just to show you guys that I did it, I guess I could do it off screen, but 
we have just enough time for me in the episode for me to do this, uh, but we don't have enough time for me to go do go to the Lunar Lagoon. So I'll do this, even though I would have done it off screen in between episodes, just to give us a little bit more stuff to do this episode. So I will show you what I have in mind. Boy, Ami, you seemed really eager to help her. Well, I couldn't say no to those. Oh my word. <laughs> but we can't let our guard down. I mean, who knows? That babe might be H Himiko's puppet. And if they're up to no good, then we should get our hands on those fox rods before they do. Like I said, many times... Oop, I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to run into you. I, I don't say that many times and walk is gone. Uh, but this game is rated T for teen. And while the game, and the game does go places, <laughs> or rather e soon goes places in the game, just the game is rated E for everyone. And Isun is rated T for teen. That is how I should describe it. But I guess while we do this, uh, in case you're wondering, what I'm doing is buying uh, the gold dust. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Since we have just enough money for me to uh, scrape up the change to buy it. Yes, you've said all of this before. So let's do the shopping and buy it. So anyway, what I was saying before we can start fishing, um, is this game is rated T for Teen. I've gone over this many times before, but I, I would kind of like to elaborate on it. Um, when I made this channel, I did it with the intention that gutter speak free commentary means no like suggestive content, I guess, um, or and also no swearing or you know cussing, um, and that that was just my policy for it. However. When the game goes places, I'm not saying that I'm going to follow what the game does uh, in terms of appropriateness, but to a certain extent, I want to be honest with this game, and if by me just bypassing every single thing that happens that may show this game's maturity level, if you want to call it that, uh, is just not really... It's not really good, because I feel like I'm not cont being entirely honest with the game or with you guys so when things like that arise I will I will commentate them I just want to make sure that's clear I will commentate them I just have been uncomfortable the past few times with me doing it because um, because I hadn't told you guys that um, to a certain st extent there is like a level that I will not stoop to uh, sometimes when Isun was talking to Rao those were some of the levels that I would not stoop to just because it's my own it's my own personal thing um, I guess I shouldn't let no you know what no you guys watch this channel f for me if that that sounds kind of wrong but you guys do watch this channel for me if this were just a gameplay channel and there's a crystal here cool if this were just a gaming channel I don't think anyone would watch it it's partially because of the commentary so and also 98 subscribers so yeah it's partially because of the commentary or at least half so I, I just feel like this like something personal that I have where I won't stoop to certain levels is something that you guys I guess are just gonna have to accept um, I, I know that sounds really bad but that's just where it is so yeah okay uh, now that my rants out of the way and I explained myself on why I have said some things that Isun says. That is going to be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to go to the Lunar Lagoon, meet Rao, and make a, f make a new moon with the power of Crescent, and then head into the sunken ship. There was a barrier there before, but hopefully Rao can help us bypass that. I release new episodes of Wakami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. So, I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.